Good morning children this is Hemlata welcome to class 7 IIT physics class children what we are doing we completed chapter vectors and the vectors addition and subtraction last also we studied in this how to add subtract the vectors we did some important sums on vector is it not children this is all we discussed already in the previous classes so today we are going to start a new concept we are going to start laws of motion okay newton's laws of motion in the newton's laws of motion today's class we are going to discuss about force okay so today's topic is force effects of force and types of force clear children so let's start today's topic okay so our topic today's topic is force so what is force children in our daily life most of the work what we do includes force is it or not whenever we push any body or pull any body or squeeze any body we apply force is it children morning to night so many activities we are doing in most of the activities we are applying force so what is force force is a push or pull acting upon an object or force also is an external cause which can tends to change a body uh, a moving body to rest or a resting body in motion is it not children once again what is force a push or pull uh, acting upon an object okay that is called force Whenever we push a body, we apply force. When we pull a body, also we apply force. Okay. So, can write. Okay, now children, force is what? Force is a push or pull acting upon an object. Okay. Now, next, units. What are the units? The main SI unit of force is what, children? Of course, it's Newton. Is it no? SI unit of force is Newton. CGS unit is what? Dyne. CGS unit is Dyne. SI unit of force is Newton. And CGS unit of force is Dyne. Then next is nature. What is its nature? It is which type of quantity? So force is a vector quantity is it natural force is a vector quantity because it includes magnitude and direction both and also it obeys the laws of vector addition we already studied no any quantity is said to be vector when three conditions are there it must have magnitude and unit second it must have direction and third it must obey the laws of vector addition then only it is a vector quantity we saw that to, uh, there are some quantities which are having direction but they are not vector like current is it no electric current having direction but it's not a vector quantity the reason is what it is not obeying the laws of vector addition is it not children so but here force is what force is a vector quantity because it obeys the laws of vector addition clear children so uh, force si unit see just unit discussed and it is a vector quantity okay now next we will study the effects before it write down children must take out your notebook today's date subject time and heading and today's topic is what force write the side heading force definition then si unit cgs unit and nature once again i will tell you you must pause the video and write from the board after that you continue the video and second thing is what you must watch the video completely okay three to four times you must watch the video completely and practice what i have given notes in that day clear yeah? then only you can understand it well okay okay children so our next topic is effects of force what are the effects of force children so there are 
different effects of force first is suppose there is a ball okay there is a ball on the ground this ball is in rest position okay so now you apply force on this ball so what happen when you will apply force on this ball or you kick the ball what happen ball starts rolling on the ground is it or not suppose ball came here okay it starts rolling on the ground so now tell me what is there in this ball was in rest position on the ground it was not moving when you apply force how you applied force you kick the ball when you kick the ball you applied the force on this object then what happened ball started rolling on the ground it means what ball came in motion is it so first effect is what force can make a resting body in motion force can change the state of the body is it not the first effect is force can change the state of the body before ball was in rest position when you apply force it came in motion it means force can change the state of the body force can bring a resting body in motion okay now children this is the first effect second effect is what suppose a ball is rolling this ball is rolling it is moving on the ground rolling on the ground so from the opposite direction when you will apply force okay from the opposite direction when you apply force it is rolling on the ground from opposite direction you apply force what will happen after some time it will stop is it or not did you observe a ball is rolling on ground with a high speed from the opposite direction ball is rolling like this from the opposite direction you just little force apply how you just touch it little force you apply what will happen ball will slow down first is it its speed decreases slow down and after some time it stop so reason what happened here because of the force applied by you on the moving body this moving body comes to rest is it or not so it means what force can stop a moving body is it force can stop a moving body in first two example examples what we studied that force can change the state of the body is it so first point is force can change state of the body is it not states what rest of motion are the states of the body so force can change a resting body in motion can bring a resting body in motion or bring a moving body in rest so force can change the state of the body is the first effect of the force clear now second is force can change the shape and size of the body is it no now see there is a ganesh puja is coming take a clay when you are making a idols with the clay what you are doing you are making the duff okay and then after the duff you are with your finger you are giving the shape and you are making the idol so when you give shape with the finger what you are doing you are applying force on that is it or not so that's why different shapes are coming so what happen force can change the shape of the body force also can change the size of the body take one elastic rubber and stretch it when you stretch an elastic rubber what happen its size increases but when you leave it it comes again in its original size so when you will stretch you are applying force you are pulling the rubber band so what happen its size increases when you will leave it it comes again in its 
original size original shape original size it means what force can change the shape and size of the body clear children so these are the effects of force force can change state of the body make a resting body in motion or moving body in rest force can change shape of the body and also force can change the size of the body clear children please write down next children next we will see types of forces types of force okay so children mainly there are two types of force contact force and non contact force okay children contact force and non contact force first we will know the basic difference between contact force and non contact force okay so what are contact and non contact force first is whenever two bodies interact with each other okay they comes close to each other so what happen there will be an influence of one body on another body clear try to understand whenever body two bodies comes in or interact with each other there will be an influence of one body on another body of course one body will apply force on another body the second body also apply force on the first body okay so when the influence will be there of uh, one body on another body okay then that is what non contact force means influence is there but the bodies are not in the contact physically contact with each other that is non contact force but if the bodies are having influence on each other and they are also in contact with each other they are then that force is known as contact force example contact force say first is applied force example applied force when suppose a box is there okay you have to pull the body towards you so what happen what you will do you will catch the box and you will pull towards you is it or not means what you are doing you are applying force you are pulling the box towards you but how with the contact with the box we say you will catch the box and you will pull it towards you is it or not or suppose you want to push the box you will catch the box and you will push it so what happen there will be contact between you and the box so that is what applied force okay so applied force is a contact force next is what suppose tension force is there spring force is there okay that is also contact force frictional force is there frictional force frictional force you know very well okay one body when slides on another body then a force always okay at the point of contact always acts from opposite direction which always tries to stop the body okay frictional force is also known as opposing forces it always opposes the motion of a body so it acts where at the point of contact so frictional force is also a contact force clear so air resistant force also air resistance force also frictional force these all are what contact forces so when two bodies are in contact with each other one body apply force on another body we can see the influence of the one body on another body that is called contact force then non contact force is what non contact force when the influence of one body on another body is there but they don't have contact with each other that is called non contact force example is gravitational force gravitational force okay suppose there is a 
stone when you will drop the stone it comes down it's not going up it comes down the reason is what earth's gravity the reason is earth's gravity earth always attracts the every objects towards itself the earth's gravity because of that only the objects comes down not going up so here you see the two bodies what are the two bodies object stone here and ground the two bodies there is a influence of ground on this object that's why this stone is coming down but here you can see there is no contact between these two objects is it or not there is no contact so without any contact influence is there of one body on another body this is called non contact force clear children like that second is electrostatic force also electrostatic force is also non contact force force produced by charges example take one small bits of paper okay take one scale rub it on your hair and when you will show to that bits of paper that uh, bits of paper will attract by that scale the reason is what when you will rub it on your hair becomes charged before it was neutral now it becomes charged charge particle also applying force on each other without contact so that is what electrostatic force third one is what magnetic force is it not children take one iron nail take one magnet you keep it little distance also between them still when you will leave the nail it will go and stuck with that magnet okay there is no contact but still the influence of magnet is there on the nail is it or not that is also non contact force so i hope you understood children today what we discussed we discussed about force effects of force and types of force we will discuss again more in the next class okay so once again we'll just review it what is force a push or pull uh, acting upon an object is called force what are the units si unit of force is newton cgs unit of force is time what is the nature it's a vector quantity it is having magnitude unit direction it obeys the laws of vector addition okay next effects of force so the effects of force are force can change the state of the body force can make a resting body in motion or moving body in rest force can change shape of the body size of the body next is types of force mainly there are two types contact force and non contact force what are these whenever two bodies comes in or interact with each other come close to each other okay so there are two types of forces are there contact non contact contact if the bodies are in contact with each other and one body apply force on another body okay that is called contact force different are there applied force tension force spring force frictional force air resistance force these all are contact force in these all co contact types of contact forces the two bodies are in contact with each other okay second is non contact force when the two bodies comes to get close to each other interact with each other of course there is a no contact with a contact between them still there is a influence of one body on another body that is called non contact force example gravitational force electrostatic force and magnetic force clear children so our topic is newton's laws of motion that mainly move round of this gravitational force so that we will discuss in detail in the next classes so i hope you are understanding the classes getting the class you must watch the class 3 to 4 times and practice what i am giving in the notes i hope you are doing the worksheets and reading work do it well children very soon you will get the exam also online test okay so you must prepare for that thanks for watching